What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So this video is obviously going to be on contouring my face. If you have not already watched my how I contour my fat face, the first one, it is a voiceover. So I just wanted to do an updated one. So this is going to be part two. All right guys, so let's get started. I already have my foundation on just how I would normally. I put my foundation on. I typically don't wait for it to dry. It's already dry because I had to do the intro for the video, but I typically would put my contour, my cream contour on immediately after applying my foundation. So mine is a little dry, so it may take a little bit more blending for me today, but nonetheless, you're gonna see the same steps that I always do and why I do them. So first off with contouring, you really wanna do all the high points of the face with your highlighting portion. So any concealer that you are going to use to conceal blemishes under eyes, you wanna do that first because you don't wanna use your darker products and end up muddying up your lighter products. So I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm gonna place this just under my eye. I said that so loud. <laughs> but I just take it from the inner tear duct and I just kinda of pull down in like sweeping motions. Again, I would do all of this immediately after applying foundation, so it just makes it easier when your foundation's still a little damp. So I'm taking, taking my damp sponge and I'm just gonna buff that out. Right away you can see how much brighter my under eye is. So now my next point of highlight would be the tip of my nose and the bridge. I do do this spot twice, but I like to brighten it up right away because I buff it onto my nose and then the excess I pull up onto my forehead because you don't need a lot of highlight in the center, but you do want to kind of give a little bit more of a brighter look without going like crazy because we don't want it to be, we don't want your forehead to be as bright as your under eye. So we've brightened up my T-zone. Now I am gonna put a little dab on my chin just because if the light were to hit me, it would hit me right there as well. So we are going to brighten that up as well. I will take whatever is left on my sponge after doing my chin and I will buff it right over my smile lines. And that is just to give a faint transition from how bright my under eye is and it just kind of blends it down to where my chin is. Now that I have completed brightening up my face, I am now going to use my contour stick to define and then we will blend that out. So the contour stick that I'm going to be using is actually a foundation stick by Makeup Revolution. I love this foundation stick. So I bought it in the shade F14. So it is one of their darkest shades. right now is my all-time favorite. It is so nice because it actually helps kind of warm up my face a little bit without making me orange. So what I do is I start off with my cheeks. I Easiest way to do it for most people is to make the fishy face. Now you don't want to go straight in at the bottom down. You kind of want to bring it just above where your actual depth would be because once I start blending this out it will move down a little bit and we don't want to put it here and then blend it down to our jaw. So right where you think you should, put it just above it because once you've blended it out, it will buff out completely. Now, if you are using a contour stick and it is way too dark, just lightly dab it just to get a little bit of the product. You don't need to go crazy with it. And underneath, on the double chin, which is all of our favorites, we love having fat faces, <laughs> I go just past the ear on both sides because when I buff this out, I'm going to buff it completely past my ear and that is going to create a false jawline that I don't have. Contouring is to enhance features that aren't necessarily there. If we want to look thinner through the face, then we are going to want to hollow at an angle through here. If we want things to look slimmer, we are going to go a slightly inward. You're not going to put it right on the outline of your nose. You're going to move it slightly inward. Same with underneath the lip. If you want your under lip to look a little larger, you're just going to put a little bit of a shadow underneath it. If you want your jawline to look sharp, you need to go past your ear to do it. If you stop here, you're going to look like you have a short little jawline 
jawline. So you really need to elongate it and just buff it behind the ear. I like my face shape to look more round, which is why I go in this oval shape at the top of my forehead. So before this dries, I'm gonna buff it out because otherwise it's gonna be a pain in the butt and it's already kind of dry. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my brush to kind of get it up there. When buffing this out, make sure that you are dabbing and pulling up towards your hairline because we still want to keep your T-zone bright. Now moving on to our favorite part, the double chin. So I'm just going to tilt my head back so you can see my double chin and I'm going to buff this out. <laughs> so you're going to dab and drag. So now that I have everything blended out, this is my favorite part of what I do. It's my little thing that I do when I do contour. I have buffed everything out. If you overuse your product, this is an awesome way to kind of take back some of the product that you put on. But this is also my favorite part of really defining my jaw and my cheekbones. So what I do, which I did not do at the beginning, is I take my concealer, whatever color or product that you use to brighten up your under eye and your T-zone, I take that and I take that same damp sponge as you're blending this out any residue that you have I recommend just taking it up over that smile line again and buffing it slightly in like little dabs right over the front portion of the contour if you got a little crazy like I did because you do not need to contour all the way to the creases of your mouth that just looks ridiculous don't do it this section should be bright. You should have no contour right here where your smile lines are, so make sure those are brighter. Your contour is strictly meant for the light shadow right here. Now, depending on your personal taste, you can make your contour as dark or as subtle as you would like. I like to have mine a little bit more on the dramatic side, and it's because I really like having structure to my face and for that last little touch this is the part that i said i typically do twice i will put one little dot right at the tip of my nose now that i've contoured original layout of when i put the concealer down and then i contoured over the top of it they've kind of blended together so i just like to brighten up just the tip of the nose and then any excess i will pull up the nose use whatever tool you need to use to achieve what you are going for sometimes the sponge can be a little large but a lot of contouring is really just starting with minimal product and just kind of building it up obviously you can contour with just powders i could do another video on that separately just so you can see but it's typically the same steps i really like to contour with creams and then i go over with powder so speaking of powder we are now going to set my face i'm going to use my laura mercier setting powder and I just kind of put some of that in. I don't like to really pack on my powder under my eye because I do have like, I have fine lines under my eyes and I don't need them like there. I just dust it with a brush. I don't really bake my face but I do put a light coating of the translucent powder all over it. And what the translucent powder does for me that I put this on it really just kind of subdues the intensity of the contour it does blend and unify the light to the dark so everything just blends smoothly but you still can see the color you can still see that I you know went really strong in my jaw and I did it really light in my nose but you can still see everything that I did it just kind of blurs it and just make more airbrushed finish which is why I love to use setting powders 
Laura Mercier is my all-time number one favorite setting powder and I've yet to find one that I like more than it. See people like bake when they contour. I do not. I literally contour my face and then I just take a big fluffy brush and I dust it all over my face because my skin, if I bake, what happens is it actually cracks and dries out my skin. If I put a light veil of the powder over it, it completely blurs and it makes my skin look so nice and it completely blends my light to dark wherever I did the highlight and the contouring so if you are someone that just baking does not work a light veil of setting powder will work it's not you shouldn't be scared of setting powder is what I'm trying to say so from this point after putting my setting powder on to set and kind of blur everything together I am going to take my fix plus or a setting spray before anything else and I just like to spray my face what this does is now all that powder I just stuck on my face it will help fuse it melt it and have it stick to my face so now my face will no longer look powdery but my makeup will still look just as blurred as it did before I wet the powder so it is important to kind of let that sit so at this point you could stop but I do go in with the Anastasia contour kit so I do take the middle shade which is ashy and then I take the that outer shade that has a little bit more of a bronze to it. This is going to warm up my face even more than I already have, but it's also going to have a lot of staining power because I just used a cream stick and I lightly set it with powder. So my face still is slightly tacky because I did not bake my face with powder. I just did a veil of powder, which is going to allow me now to set it with my actual contour powder. I remember a little bit goes a long way, build it. I mean, don't get crazy with it. <laughs> because it is a little harder to take back the product once you've put this on. And contour is like a glue for your powder contour. Just run over all the same places that I had put the cream. And with that, that's done. Anytime you use powder, I recommend setting it. Anytime there's powder set on your face, set it. Because if you start working with too much powder, you'll end up getting like a cakey layer of powder. So by setting it lightly, it kind of fuses it, melts it into the skin, and then you can move on with the next product. So again, I'm just taking the Max Other Earthly, and I'm taking the gold and the pink, and I'm going to be placing this on the high points of my cheeks. And I'm going to pull this into my eyeshadow because I did put it underneath my brow bone. And I'm just gonna place this right here and just above my brow on both sides. And I take a little bit of the highlight and just place it on the tip of my nose where I brightened it up. So now that I have that finished, I'm just gonna pop some lipstick on and then I will model what we just did for you. And then that's it for this video. All right, you guys, so that was it for this video. I really hope it was helpful for some of you. If so, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on all my social media and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.